It's almost time for another exciting NFL clash, and EA Sports is proud to bring it to you. The Texans will go on defense first to start the game. Gathered at the six. He can't bring him down. Gets to about the 27. They'll start at the 27-yard line. It's first and 10. Gets the pass off. He's dropped at the 45 by Reed. Kevin Curtis makes his 30th catch of the season. Here's the give. A DB tackles him at the 49-yard line. Westbrook gets six yards on the play. Give to the tailback. D'Amico Ryans is there to bring him down. Ryan Westbrook does a great job to get free and pick up the first. Westbrook gets the carry. Okoye makes the tackle. They line up at the 45. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Smith is there on the tackle. Here's the pass. Lyons makes the tackle. The Eagles are having some success getting the ball down the field on this drive. This offense is clicking. Passes it. He makes another catch. Donovan McNabb is really feeling it right now. He's got the hot hand, and you know normally he's not a guy that's going to hit a bunch of passes in a row, but he's hot right now. Just gets it away. Caught and dropped. He's there for the catch once again. That's number two on this offensive possession. You, know, you hear all the time about quarterbacks getting into a rhythm, but sometimes a quarterback and a receiver can get into a rhythm where the quarterback begins to look to one guy a little bit more because he feels more comfortable, and I think that's beginning to happen now. Donovan McNabb is not really known for his accuracy, but uh, boy, he sure is getting the job done on this series. we got to suck it up! we got to, boys! The halfback with the carry. And he makes it out to about the eight-yard line. Ryans was there on the tackle. Westbrook gets the call again. And he makes it out to about the five-yard line before several defenders bring him down. Westbrook gets the call. And so many times you hear offensive coordinators criticize because they don't try to run the football enough. But when you get stuffed in the backfield like that, you understand why they would rather really call the pass play. The Philadelphia Eagles get on the board first. They lead it 3 0. He makes it to the 22. All right, they just came up with a field goal. Let's see what this offense can do. Come out, be aggressive. Let's get some points on the board. Throws it short. And he caught it. Tackle was made by Bradley. 
That's a first down right there. Might want to play them a little tighter. Maybe even go to man coverage. Yeah, it's pretty tough to play a zone coverage against this quarterback. He does a great job in recognition, and that time you could see him move the zone defense just a little with his eyes before he threw it in there. I know we all talk about 40-yard dash times in the NFL, but as a receiver, if you are a great route runner and you understand what the defenses are trying to do to you, it doesn't matter if you run a 4-3-40. If you can get in and out of your cuts like this guy, you will always be able to play. Short pass. Sheldon Brown is defending on the play. It's fourth down. The Texans line up to punt. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. This one's going to go out of bounds at the 36-yard line. The Eagles will set up shop at the 36-yard line. Short throw to the right. That incompletion will bring up second down. Here's the halfback. He didn't get back to the line. Well, those defenders get paid too, and every once in a while they win the battle. Clearly that time they were all over this offensive line. He throws right. Comes down with it. The stop was made by Dante Robinson. When you're trying to blitz the quarterback, you better have some talented corners on the outside because as a wideout, just give me three or four seconds against the blitz, and it is awfully tough to try and cover that. On the delay. Travis Johnson was there on the tackle. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Throws short. Smith makes the tackle. I tell you, as a defense, you don't mind giving up a little dinky throw like that to the tight end. That's good defense. He rolls right. He's dragged down on the play. Effective blitzing can really destroy an offensive game plan because you're so used to having time to develop plays down the field. Now you come with a good blitz, and the quarterback just doesn't have time to get it off. And takes a terrible bounce. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. Foster on the give. Foster gains about two yards on the run. It's second down and eight to go. Passing. Asante Samuels is there on the top. Yeah, the defense came with pressure, but they couldn't quite get to the quarterback, and they paid a price. He got it out of there, picked up a nice game. to his left. Very risky pass. You never want to try and throw the ball across your body like that. Players in this league will come up with interceptions on that one. Short throw to the left. Hansen makes the tackle. Yeah, when you see the blitz, you have to understand your own protections because if your protection is sliding away from the blitz, you have no choice but to get it out of there to the hot receiver. He fights forward to about the 36 before he's hit and dropped. Second and seven. Gets the pass away. He goes up high for the catch. This is close. They'll bring out the chains. 
It was enough to move the chain. They line up at the 29. The stop was made by Broderick Bunker. And that's why you send all those guys to plug up the holes. And that time there were no holes, really. And he was lucky to get anything on the play. Short throw to the run. Woods drops him at the 20. Foster makes his third catch of the game. Slayton takes it up the middle. He gets out to about the 18-yard line before he's dropped by a host of tackles. Gets the pass out. Hasn't missed yet on this drive. Looks like a gain of nine on the pass play. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Passes. End zone. The Texans score the game's first touchdown. Kevin Walter has so much ability and he's well utilized really in this offense. He's a hard receiver to cover and there's really a certain toughness about him. He's going to fight you for position and for the ball. Houston holds a four-point lead. Breaks a tackle. He gets to the 26. They had to put it away on their previous drive. Makes the short throw. The tackle was made by Danico Ryan. They were trying to work that ball down the field. There really wasn't anything there. They dump it off and not much underneath either. Westbrook takes it up the middle. Thomas is there on the tackle. Westbrook gets about four yards on the play. Dante Robinson has the coverage on the play. The Eagles are lining up to punt it away. Jones is the deep man awaiting the return. He takes it back to the 29-yard line. The Texans punctuated that last series with a touchdown. I got to tell you, they look really good. They have this defense way back on their heels. And they're coming after him. Pass is complete. The tackle is made by Brown. Daniels makes his third grab. Schaub with the game. Four-yard gain for a first down there. It's nice when you don't always have to throw the ball in that situation. Still pushing. He gets out to about the 45-yard line before he's gang tackled. Laws was there to bring him down. The defense did a nice job there jamming the running back, bringing the outside linebacker on a blitz. Sometimes those outside backers a little more athletic and can really help stop the run. Short pass to his left. Brown makes the tackle. What happened there, Chris? Well, they got caught in man-to-man -man coverage on that play, and I couldn't tell if the defender slipped a little bit or not. Maybe he just got beat on the play. Stiff arms, 
And the defender still makes the tackle. Well, they brought the blitz that time. The offensive line did a pretty good job recognizing it. They got the blocks, but the back was still able to get out of there for a nice game. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Woods was there on the tackle. Dumps it out left. The tackle was made by Brown. Daniels now has five catches. He gets another carry. Makes a cut. And he will be hit and dropped. Foster gets six yards on the carry. Throws it. Incomplete pass. Samuels is defending on the play. This is the 11th play of this drive. Row 33, You've won an all expenses paid date with the cheerleader of the choice. Tries for the end zone. Hanson gets the pick. This guy's a gambler, no question about it. He doesn't mind taking some chances, and sometimes it pays off just like that. Oh, man! Throws it, and it's completed. The stop was made by Bennett. Deshaun Jackson makes his third grab. Sheds one tackler. Brian Westbrook picked up the first down after the gain of four. Gets the ball away. Makes the catch. The tackle was made by Thomas. The Eagles are getting on a bit of a roll here. Nice play calling and good execution. The defense looks a little confused right now. Passes away. He took a shot at the 35. Nice grab on the play. His second catch of the drive. Yeah, and I'm going to expect to see a lot more passes to this guy. He's a good receiver. He's talented. He can make the catch and get upfield. But more importantly right now, this defense is creating some opportunities for him to catch the ball. The stop was made by Donovan McMahon. Tom, this guy had to be a wide receiver at one point in his career. No way a defensive back makes a catch like that. That was tremendous. Throws it short. And that's good quarterback play. He recognized the blitz. He understood what was happening with the coverage behind it and found the open man. to his left. Daniels brings in his sixth catch of the game. Second down and very short coming up. And we've come to the end of one with the score. The Texans seven, the Eagles three. it off. The Texans need just four plays to cover the short distance to the end zone. Jay Feely adds the extra point. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. Macklin fields it at the one. At the 30, he breaks the tackle. The Eagles turned the ball over on an interception their last time out. Here's the give. Johnson is there on the tackle. Westbrook gets about four yards on the play.
Runs with it, and there's a clearing. This quarterback's a good athlete, no question about it. When he drops back to throw, you had better account for his ability to run the football, or you're going to give up the first down like they just did. Dumps it complete to his tight end over the middle. They lose four on that one. Boy, that gets a little embarrassing. Anytime you spend all week working on a play and it comes out like that, <laughs> gives the defense a little credit, but that was bad. Short throw to the right. And he can't hang on. And now the offense will be faced with a third down situation. Congratulations to the person seated in section 19. it out. Reeves makes the tackle. And he went way up to snag that one. That was a pretty catch. Here's the throw. He's tackled at the 21 by Bennett. The Eagles are putting together a good looking drive here. That's their third first down. McNabb hands it off straight ahead. That's a three-yard game. That'll bring up second down. Give to the tailback. Bennett was there on the tackle. Brian Westbrook found a hole and was able to pick up just around seven yards. Good enough for the first down. again with the run and if you can make a running back hesitate just a little that time you could see there really was no hole and the running back was just fishing for a place to go end zone it's tipped and intercepted boy that one really hurts when you get an offense that's playing like these guys are you cannot give them too many free opportunities Here's the give. Hit and drop behind the line. You know, listen, I would never want to block a defensive lineman. So, I, you know, I've seen these guys. I know these guys. They're big and they're nasty. But at least from an offensive standpoint, you have to try to get in the way. Stiff arms, and he's brought down. Well, you know the safeties are going to attack the line of scrimmage against the run, but you just don't expect them to get there so soon that they're going to make the tackle in the backfield. Throws it out. Fuller picks it off. Still moving. Hicks was there to bring him down. And I like the way he extended for the ball there. He didn't wait for that ball to come to him. He extended his arms, went out, and made a play. Up the middle. Travis Johnson makes the tackle. Westbrook gets about a yard on the play. Westbrook, the ball carrier. The stop was made by D'Amico Ryan. Westbrook picks up two yards with the carry. Dumps it out right. Has it on the sideline, but was he in bounds? The officials will huddle. So after conferring, they give him the catch. He's got it. Here's your sprint drive summer. So the score now, the Eagles 6, the Houston Texans 14. They get him at the 26-yard line. The Texans want to get better results from this series. Their last one ended with a turnover. is the ball. There for the reception. 
at the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Texas. Woo! The Texans strike quickly with the 75-yard play for six. Kevin Walter has so much ability, and he's well utilized, really, in this offense. He's a hard receiver to cover, and there's really a certain toughness about him. He's going to fight you for position and for the ball. At the 30, brought down at the 34-yard line. The Eagles were able to score on that last series, but just a field goal, and sometimes those are actually momentum shifters for the defense. Gets the pass away. Curtis was able to make his fourth reception. They line up at the 45. Gets the pass off. Robinson has it. Runs over tackle. You know, some of these corners are just freakish athletes right now. Oftentimes, they're the best athletes on the field. Maybe they don't have the skill set, great hands, great moves, whatever, but they are definitely among the fastest in the NFL. He passes short. Hanson intercepts it. Tackle was made by Brown. Hansen comes away with his second interception of the game. Cushing drops in for a loss at the 36. Yeah, great defense at the point of attack, but also very impressive, the pursuit to the ball. They were all coming there. The stop was made by D'Amico Ryan. By that time, the outside linebacker came on the run blitz. They got some penetration and shut down the play. Here's the pass. He's there for the catch. Deshaun Jackson has six. Wait, the officials will huddle. After discussing it, they rule no touchdown. It's a two-possession game, and the offense can cut that down if they can get it in the end zone here. Huge pressure by the defense. Touchdown, Eagles. The Philadelphia Eagles started at the 35 and used five plays to get to Pater. Donovan McNabb is really just born to play this position. He has great instincts, good arm strength, throws such a nice ball. And all of his teammates really trust him. They know they can count on him to do everything within his power to win the game. And he's drilled. What a hit. The Texans come back out looking for better results than their last time on the field. He throws right, brings it in. Tackle was made by Bradley. That completion puts him above 2,500 yards passing for the season. Passes it. He leaves. It's caught. The Texans are picking up nice yardage just about every time they go to the air. I'm not sure what's happening with the defense right now, but they seem a little out of sorts. There for the catch. Vincent Fuller is there to bring him down. Nice play there. It's only seven yards, but that's the kind of underneath throw that eventually opens up some throws down the field. Is there for the catch. Hanson makes the tackle. The Texans are doing a pretty good job in the passing game. The receivers are finding some space in the secondary, and the ball is getting there on time. Passes to his left. Still perfect on the drive. Andre Johnson has now caught 30 passes on the season.
Goes for the end zone. Second down now following the incomplete pass. Great seats available for all of our upcoming home games. He'll try the end zone. I think it's safe to say that the defense didn't expect an onslaught like this from one individual. You know, you come in with a defensive plan. But when a guy has three touchdowns and one half against you, it's time to wad that plan up in a little piece of paper and throw it in the garbage. Taken at the five. Stays on his feet. The Eagles will look to build momentum by getting another touchdown on this series. They hand it off. The stop was made by Mario Williams. Westbrook picks up about four yards on the play. Makes his third catch of the game. Ryans gets his hands on him and drags him down for a loss at the 49. Westbrook gets the call again. Westbrook gains around three yards on the run. the pass away and he caught it Thomas was there to bring him down Kevin Curtis with his fifth grab of the game gets it off Westbrook gets six yards on the carry so second down now the offense needs about four for the first Got to him just as he released it. Kevin Curtis thinks he's in, but no signal yet. They say, yes, it is a touchdown. The Eagles cap off the seven-play drive with a trip to the end zone. Kevin Curtis is one of the very best in the game today. There's just not too much a defender can really do against him. Even if he has good coverage, he could still lose the matchup. Dropped at the 18-yard line. The Texans were able to put a scoring drive together on their last timeout. He was hit. Comes down with it. The stop was made by Hanson. Matt Shaw has done an excellent job of leading the aerial attack in this one, racking up over 300 yards through the air. And deep puts it up there. Remember, Asante Samuel had the coverage on the play. Looking for children at the stadium should go to the nearest guest service area. Throws it short. Pass is complete. Six yards that time in the pass play. Just a simple throw and catch for a gain of six. That's just the kind of passing play that this offense is built around. Gets the pass out. This one might have been interference. Let's see what the refs did. Pass interference. Defense. First down.
Rolls right. Throws just as the pressure gets there. The tackle was made by Asante Samuel. Owen Daniels with his eighth reception. Throws it. And it's completed. Quentin McHale was there to bring him down. Nice play that time. The defense came with a blitz there. He made a good read, delivered a nice ball in there to the open man. Dumps it out right. Asante Samuel makes the tackle. Jones with his third reception. Throws it. Johnson was the intended receiver. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Give to the tailback. Yeah, sometimes you just have to admit defeat on a play as a running back and just try and get that thing back to the line of scrimmage. It's no good. The Eagles will begin this drive at the 30. They go with the run. Still working. The stop was made by Cushing. Westbrook gains about four yards on the play. Fullback straight ahead. Ryans was there on the tackle. They get five yards on the play, and that makes it third down. Gets the ball away. And he's dropped as soon as he makes the catch. The defense just didn't match up well on that play. Yeah, tough to match up one-on-one -on -one in man coverage against that wide receiver. He's pretty good. Makes the catch. He's still going. And he gained a few more before they finally get him to the ground at the four. That'll make it first and goal following the big pass. McNabb gives it up the middle. The Eagles go nearly 70 yards in five plays for the score. This guy really has some special moves, doesn't he? You can almost see the fear in the defensive player's eyes when he comes up in one-on-one -on -one situations because they know they can't get him on the ground. He makes it to the 23-yard line. They missed the field goal their last time out. Let's see what they can do on this drive. And that flag was thrown in the area of holding. Holding. First and long now after the penalty. Foster on the give. Tackle was made by Clinton McHale. Foster gets three yards on the carry. Up the middle. The stop was made by Bradley. Well, that was the perfect time for them to call a blitz. They got in there, filled up all the gaps, brought down the running back for a short day. They'll give it off here. The Eagles will take their second time out of the half. The Texans line up to punt. Deshaun Jackson is back awaiting the punt. Jackson fields it at the 35. The Eagles got a little boost on that last series by punching it in. Now they want to build on that.
The pass is away. Thomas was there on the top. They won't huddle here as they try to speed things up. Short throw to the left. Williams was there to bring him down. They go to their hurry up offense. Passes it out. Kevin Curtis crosses the plane. Or maybe he didn't. After discussing it, they rule no touchdown. It appears someone jumped early. First and goal. A minute left in the half. Tackle was made by Adibi. Yeah, I don't think that was a designed quarterback run on that one. He simply couldn't find anybody open, saw a running lane, and boy, that didn't stay open for very long either. D'Amico Ryans records his first sack of the season. Flips it out short. Adibi is there to bring him down. Well, let's face it, there really aren't too many plays in the playbook that would have gained enough of the first down there, so they just took what they could get. So the score now, the Philadelphia Eagles, 30, the Houston Texans. 28. Ryan is ready to kick this one off. He'll try a squid kick. Fuller makes the tackle. They were forced to punt on their last drive. Throws it short. There for the reception. The stop was made by Clinton McHale. Daniels makes it nine catches today. Here's the throw. That incompletion will bring up second down. Throws it out. Harris bats it down. Jones was the intended receiver on the play. And we'll probably see how far he can throw here, as this should be the last play before the half. Passes the ball. Leaping catch. We'll take you to the studio now for halftime. Welcome to the Halftime Show. Let's get you caught up on what's happening around the league. Check out the scores from around the league. Here's a look at the top performers from around the league. Chris Johnson has rushed for over 100 yards. Let's turn to your game stats. First half yardage was just about even. Kevin Curtis has over 150 yards receiving. Philadelphia leads it by two. Now let's take a look at some of the top plays from the first half of your game.
second half is about to begin. Enjoy the rest of the game. Welcome back to Houston. Field it at the four. This offense couldn't get anything going on their previous drive. Gets the pass away. Samuel gets his hand on it. Second down coming up after the incomplete pass. Gets the pass off, and the defender intercepts it. He can't bring let's him go, down. Baby, let's go. And that now makes four picks he's thrown. Ouch. We have some quarterbacks in the league that'll go a month without throwing four interceptions. Some will go half a season. Today, this has been embarrassing. McNabb hands off. They tackle him for a loss. It's a second and 11 situation here. Throws it short. Westbrook gains four yards on that reception. From the 36-yard line. Screen pass to the back. Brought down behind the line. Brian Westbrook makes his third catch of the game. Wide right. The Texans will start this drive at the 44-yard line. Here's the pass. He's there for the catch. Samuel is there on the tackle. Evan Walter with his sixth reception. First down now, and 10 to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. Passes it. Brings it in. Matt Schaub has passed for 400 yards in the game. Passes. There for the catch. Mikel is there to bring him down. And there you see just a little bit of how tremendous these athletes are in the NFL. The ability to go up above the defense and make a play like that, that was fun to watch. Passes to the end zone. Kevin Walter calls it in. But is it good? The officials will huddle. He did not score. They'll line it up five yards for the score. Short pass to his left. Matt Shaw gets TD pass number four of the game. And they'll try to tack on two points here. Rolling right. Dumps it out left. Makes the catch for two. Great job there. They were able to convert. And you could tell the offense had a plan throughout that drive. Not only did they get the touchdown, but they immediately got the call in for the two-point conversion. They knew exactly what they wanted to do and executed it perfectly. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Here's the halfback. Reeves makes the tackle. Nice call there by the defensive coordinator coming with the outside linebacker blitz, which really puts some pressure on this group up front. Here's the give. And he will lose yardage on the play. 
Well, you know you've got an aggressive safety when he's making tackles for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. Typically, these guys are trying to not give up a big play in the passing game. Now, when you see somebody in the backfield, <laughs> that's impressive. Gets the pass away. Almost hit. And that incomplete pass will probably lead to the punting unit coming out onto the field as they go three and out. There's nothing more frustrating for an offense to come in and go three and out. That's just embarrassing. The Texans have to be happy with how their offense performed that last time around. That was some drive, and now maybe they come out a little more loose in this drive. Foster, the ball carrier. Laws was there on the tackle. They gained five yards there. That brings up second down. Buckley drops him for a loss at the 45. And let's give credit to the defense. They had a great push there. They got in the backfield, took control of their own gaps. Throws it deep. And it's caught. Touchdown, Texas. Andre Johnson increases his receiving yardage total for the game to 100. Clearly, he came into this one ready to show his stuff. Moves to his right. He catches the two-point conversion. Gets to the 26. The offense has to find a way to put some points on the board, and it has to start happening now. Gets the pass out. Bennett bats it away. Deshaun Jackson was his intended target. Westbrook gets about four yards on the play. Throws it. Bennett was there to bring him down. Jeremy Macklin is able to make his fourth reception. They hand it off. He fights forward to about the 46. Cushion makes the tackle. On the ground with a tailback. He fights forward to about the 49. A DB is there on the tackle. Short throw is there for the catch. Thomas makes the tackle. The Texans have pretty much shut down one of the top receivers in the league today. That was his first catch. Throws it short. Donovan McNabb has passed for 400 yards in the game. McCoy gets the call. It appears that we have a flag on the play. And I have a feeling this one's coming back. He rolls right. It's incomplete. Donovan McNabb was simply trying too hard that time. He got a little excited and let that ball get away from him. That's something that 
you'll see from inaccurate passes from time to time. Throws it. He makes another reception on the drive. D'Amico Ryans is there on the tackle. Another positive game, and that gives him 100 yards receiving for the game. And you know, it's not just a couple of routes that he runs well. That's what makes him so tough. He can run the good underneath routes, but he can also take it over the top as well. So you have to give him those little throws. So many times it's up to that backside blocker to get his guy on the ground, and it sounds ugly, but typically those guys are chopping at their knees and trying to knock them off their feet so there's some cutback lines. Well, you never like to be behind at this point in the game, but clearly you can see that they're starting to find something now with the running game. They're starting to establish a little dominance up front. Akers puts it through, and it's a seven-point game. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. From his own goal line. At the 40. Down the sideline, at the 30, to the 20. And they run him down at the 13. He almost broke that one all the way for six. You know, it always makes me laugh. We have these finely tuned, well-conditioned athletes. But how many times have you seen a guy break a big kick like that and sort of towards the end of the run, he starts looking like he's just run out of gas. To the end zone, batted away. Quentin McKell was defending on the play. They'll set up, needing eight for the score. Passes to the end zone. Yeah, they brought the blitz and the offensive line just unable to pick it up that time to force the incompletion. He's got it. Here's your sprint drive summary. I had my doubts about that kid. Yeah, he just squeezed that one in there, didn't he? I'm sure he's going to be exhaling for about the next 30 seconds. Hit and dropped at the 34-yard line. The Eagles got the ball into the end zone on their last possession. Here's the give. Mario Williams makes the tackle. Westbrook picks up five yards with the carry. No! Ryans tackles him for a loss at the 38-yard line. And I really like the discipline of this defense. You never see these guys trying to do too much. They control their gaps, and that time, there was nowhere to go. And he caught it. The stop was made by Dante Robinson. Brian Westbrook with his fourth catch of the game. Cushing will tackle him for a loss at the 38. You know, you can draw up any sort of protection scheme and blocking scheme that you want, but ultimately this game comes down to one big man against another big man, and that time the defense's big men, they won the battle. On the ground with a tailback. Tackle was made by Cushing. McCoy gets about four yards on the play. He rolls out to the right, drops the easy hit, and it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. He really came through on that long distance attempt. You don't make a kick like that without a perfect hold and a perfect snap, but let's give this kicker some credit. That was an extraordinary effort. Brought down at the 34-yard line. The Texans put up three points their last time out. Keep 
Schaub hands it off straight ahead. Foster picks up about four yards on the play. Gets the ball away. The stop was made by Asante Samuel. The Texans are continuing to find success throwing the ball. The pass protection is solid, and the defense with a very conservative approach playing off these receivers, allowing them to get open. Comes down with it. Tackle was made by Henson. It's one of the dangers you bring those extra defenders trying to get after the quarterback, and you're going to leave some man coverage on the outside. That time the quarterback able to take advantage. They can't bring him down. It is just so difficult for offensive lines to account for the safety. Typically, that's the one free runner that you have. And if you have a top flight safety back there that can come in and make those kinds of plays, it really helps your run defense. About four yards on that play. That'll bring up third down. The pass is away. The stop was made by Brown. Johnson with his eighth reception. Short throw to the right. Bradley is there to bring him down. That catch puts him over 100 yards receiving. Not much doubt is there, Tom, as to who this quarterback likes. He found the guy that he's most comfortable with, and he doesn't care which coverage you're in. He's going to this guy. Passes. End zone. The Texans take it 65 yards on eight plays. Andre Johnson has so much ability, and he's well utilized, really, in this offense. He's a hard receiver to cover, and there's really a certain toughness about him. He's going to fight you for position and for the ball. From the five-yard line. At the 30. Hit and blocked at the 33-yard line. The Eagles come out looking to get another scoring drive going here. They got three last time. Westbrook gets it on the draw. Travis Johnson cracks him down, wraps him up for tackle number five. He lost yardage on the play. Yeah, if you're going to run a delay, you have to at least give your running back time to get the ball. That time, with all the penetration, they almost took the handoff. Passes it out. Flag on the play. At the 30, to the 20, to the 10. And if this is holding, it will erase that touchdown. Holding. Still third down. They dig themselves into a big hole with the penalty as they face a third and long situation. He throws right. Caught and taken down almost immediately. The Texans came onto the field with a ton of energy that time. They controlled the line of scrimmage and didn't allow that extra yardage. Gets to about the 41. The Texans have been rolling so far, and now they can really start to take control of this one with another touchdown. The stop was made by Brown. A pickup of about three. As a quarterback, you really want to make that pre-snap read, and it's kind of hard to not see the middle linebacker. He came on the blitz that time. And sometimes you just need to get out of a play like that. Kevin Walter with his eighth reception.
Short pass to his left. On the reception and dumped right away. Small game. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 46. Hit as he throws. It's picked off. Huge play by the defense. Now their offense gets another opportunity. Let's see if they can do anything with it. They hand it off. He tries to spin, but he's brought down. Westbrook gains about five yards on the run. Hands it to the back. He gets to about the 37-yard line before he's rustled to the ground. First down now and 10 to go. He gets another carry. Four yards on that play. That'll bring up second down. Gives it off. He doesn't get back to the line. The time the offensive line just didn't get any push there. They've got to do a better job knocking those guys off the line of scrimmage. Throws it short. Pass is complete. Breaks free. Thomas was there on the tackle. The Eagles' passing game continues to impress. There's almost no resistance when they try and throw the ball. It seems like they're getting 10 to 15 yards every time. The halfback with the carry. He's in. Touchdown! This is one of the very best guys at seeing the entire field. Very seldom do you see him miss a good opportunity for a run, that time exploding through for the touchdown. Up and good. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. Still pushing. He stopped at the 24-yard line. They'll go to work at the 24-yard line. Rolls right. Here's the throw. Tackle was made by Asante Sanders. Andre Johnson has 10 catches in the game. He rolls left, throws it out, and the receiver has room to run. How about that play? There's really no better feeling as an offense, especially for the quarterback position, than to take advantage when the defense is trying to blitz you. They're trying to make you nervous, and you just made them pay. Passes to his left. The stop was made by Bradley. Just keeps the ball moving down the field. Six-yard gain and a uh, little progress. Is on the move. The tackle was made by Dent. Matt Schaub is having a tremendous game. 600 yards passing is unheard of. Short throw to the run. The stop was made by Larson. Leach now with four catches in the game. They line up at the 17. Is the ball. He hasn't missed a pass on this drive. Kevin Walter with catch number nine. First down now. They'll be looking for six points here. Yeah! 
Hands it to the back. Tackle at the two by Longs. And they really ran right into the blitz. That's a time that a veteran quarterback should have changed the play at the line of scrimmage. You could see the blitz coming. He didn't audible and only came away with a short day. Won't be stopped. One score is nice, but two, that is really special. And ask any fantasy football player out there, if this guy's on your team, you're almost as happy as he is right now. And the point after is good. Let's take a look at the Sprint Drive Summary. At the 30. At the 40. At the 40. At the 30. And he has room to run to the 10. He returns this one all the way. Touchdown. He was just determined to get that thing in the end zone, and he wasn't letting anybody stand in his way. A coach has to love a guy with that kind of heart, with that kind of determination. Dropped at the 26-yard line. The Texans will set up shop at the 26-yard line. Breaks the sack, still looking for an option. At least they only lost a couple on the play. Good job of not giving up too much ground. In the league now, we are seeing some of the best athletes in all of football playing the defensive end position. And if you can't get them blocked, you're going to have to start thinking about chipping them with a back or putting a tight end over there. Great protection. Sacked. Roderick Buckley gets his first sack of the season. So the sack brings up this third and very long situation. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. They didn't have the ball long there. And three and outs are embarrassing for an offense. When you go out there and run three plays and have to go jogging back to your sideline, those defensive guys, they aren't too happy. Gets to about the 44. The Eagles will begin this drive at the 44-yard line. Gets the pass away. The tackle was made by Bennett. Kevin Curtis has snared 10 passes. They hand it off. And it looked like this defensive line just beat him off the snap. Sometimes those guys can time out the quarterback's cadence. And if the quarterback doesn't start changing that snap count, his offensive line is going to really struggle. Weaver lost the ball. There's a battle for it. Thomas picks it up off the ground. The Texans take away possession. Definitely a battle going after that fumble, but this is a guy who makes his living knocking people around in the secondary, so no surprise he made that play. It's the tailback. That's four yards on the play, and that will bring up second down. Second and six. Gets the pass off. And it's completed. The stop was made by Hanson. That last catch puts him over 100 receiving yards. And one of the things I like watching about this receiver is that he understands how to read coverages. More often than not, a wide receiver has to understand reading coverages at least as well as the quarterback. Otherwise, the quarterback will see one thing and the receiver another. They line up at the 22. Here's the pass. Touchdown, Houston. Andre Johnson has been a great option here today. That's his third TD catch. Ooh. 
It's good. Here's your sprint drive summary. Booker fields it at the one. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. They'll start at the 28-yard line. Hand off to the left. McCoy gets three yards on the carry. Second and seven. Ball on the 31-yard line. Passes it. Third down coming up after that incompletion. It's third down, seven yards to go. Ball on their own 31. Passing. Drops the sure pick. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. Jones fields it at the 27. They get him at the 29-yard line. The Texans will start this drive at the 29-yard line. Foster gains seven yards on that play. They'll need about three yards here on second down. Gets the pass away. Bradley makes the tackle. Johnson has simply destroyed the defensive backfield in this one, burning them at will on his way to more than 200 yards receiving. Makes the catch. Still going. You know, that's not one of those plays that's a huge gain by any means, but that's really the essence of an offensive game plan. You have to start hitting some of those short, intermediate routes, and that begins to open everything else up. Slides down. Loss of about six. And so it'll be third down. Give to the tailback. Foster can't hang on to the ball. They'll pile up for it. He picks it up. The Eagles fought for it and came away with possession. Very good work that time to recover the football for the defense. And if you've ever been in the bottom of one of those pileups like that, you know that anything goes. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field stands as called. After review, they will uphold the call on the field. Yeah, and without a doubt, the ball came out before the runner was down. It's very difficult to dispute that that was the right call. It's the tailback. From the 41-yard line. McNabb has all day. Ryans was there to bring him down. Boy, in that kind of situation, you just think that if they're going to pick up the first down on you, they're going to have to do it throwing the football. But that time, the quarterback got out in the open field and got it done. He throws short, and the defender intercepts it. Another great play by a very talented linebacker. He plays that position almost like he's a safety, and he catches the ball. Foster gets the ball. That's 
steps back and he's dropped. Nothing makes a defensive coordinator cringe more than seeing that kind of run because then it sets up the play action and there's almost no way to stop an offense if you can't stop the run and you have to deal with play action. He needs to get the pass off. And it's not loose. Whoa, that was really lucky. That one wasn't picked off. Not a good decision at all there. Gets the pass out. Kevin Walter making his 10th grab. Brown is there on the tackle. Brown is playing with some intensity out there. He's been in on five tackles so far. Throws it. Tackle was made by Wood. Foster makes it five catches for the game. And he's hit as he throws. Tipped ball, intercepted. What a brutal hit. As a quarterback, there are plenty of times when you're out there on that island all alone and the entire stands can see whether you've got your job done or not. Well, he's gotten it done twice now in this game. Dumps it out left. Donovan McNabb has been finding receivers all game long. He now has 500 yards passing in the game. McCoy on the run. The stop was made by Cushing. Seems to me that this is the time in the game where every play call for them is some type of pass. Yeah, and really the way the game is played these days, if you're good enough throwing the football, you can make conservative pass calls that are essentially like run plays. It's Kips. Page had the coverage on the play. Throws it. From their own 43-yard line. The Texans have everyone on the line. Looks like they're coming after this one. Breaks a tackle. At the 40, he's down the sideline. They'll get the ball here at the 45. It's first and 10. With the misdirection. He breaks the tackle. To the 20. Touchdown, Texas. Talk about being in a groove. Touchdown number three. He's really just running it so well. He's got the hot hand. A one-man wrecking crew out there today. With under five minutes remaining in the fourth quarter of play, the score, the Texans 75, the Eagles 54. From his own goal line. Dropped at the 30. They couldn't do anything against this defense on their last drive, and they were forced to punt. McCoy takes the give. Thomas makes the tackle. McCoy gains around eight yards on the run. Gets the ball away. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. Third down coming up after that incomplete pass. Pass 
passes away. Knocked loose. The, pass results. the defense had their number during that last series as they go three and out. A really nice defensive stand. It just seemed that the defensive coordinator was inside the offensive play caller's mind that time. Passes it out. Drops it, and he was pretty well coming. The Texans will set up shop at the 38. Here's the throw. Demps is there to bring him down. Matt Shaw has managed to put together quite a year for himself as he eclipses the 3,000-yard passing mark with that completion. It's the tailback. Cole tackles him for a loss at the 27-yard line. And a lot of times in that situation, they read offensive linemen. And the minute you see those offensive linemen, sometimes even in their stance, sort of sitting back, you know the counter's coming, you can get penetration and make a play in the backfield just like that. It really is so much the key to football. You talk all the time about you have to establish a run. Well, there you see why you establish the run and then you come with the play action pass. It's just so hard to defend. Fullback handoff. The stop was made by Abby Amiri. Only a couple of yards from Pater. On the ground with a tailback. Yeah, it really just throws you off rhythm to have a play that gains nothing. You know, you're usually you're going to get something, two, three, four yards, and it keeps you in that rhythm. But when a defense makes a play like that, it really throws your offense off. Foster Thunder. Fight for the loose ball. Who's got it? Cole gets his hand on it and scoops it up. The Eagles win the scramble. They take over. Excellent work that time, finding the football and digging it out of there. It's never an easy task with that many hands and that many bodies going for it. Throws it out. There for the reception. And when you're trying to catch those high, hard ones, you just don't know what's going to happen to your body. I tell you, you haven't lived until you caught one of those and had one of those clowns flip you upside down. He's there for the catch. And this receiver just loves it when the defense is in man cover. Yeah, there's no better feeling than when you're coming off the ball and you know it's just you and the guy across from you. That's just good old-fashioned football. But you also know typically when you get man coverage, your quarterback is under pressure. Tackle was made by McCoy. He's really ball. been playing well now in his second interception of the game. He's got that special instinct that all good safeties need to have to make a difference in this league. Everybody stay composed. Buckley was there on the tackle. Maybe got a couple of yards, but that's about it. And Tom, that was because the defense filled up all the gaps. The back was looking for somewhere to run, but by bringing the run blitz, they took away all the holes and stopped them for a minimal game. Tackle was made by Bunkley. Roderick Bunkley has been on a collision course with the ball carriers. That takedown marking his fifth tackle. Here's the give. Abby Amiri was there to bring him down. Great play by the defense. You always hear coaches talking about whoever gets lower. Get your pad level lower than the offensive lineman. That time this defensive line did exactly that. That should kill any hopes of a comeback attempt in this one. Just everything going right for this team today. And that kick will just be a little icing on top. Booker from the six. They get him at the 34. They'll get the ball here at the 34-yard line. First and 10. Passes the ball. Brings it in. Curtis has been virtually uncoverable in this one despite the defense's best efforts as he continues to pile on the yardage on his way to more than 200 yards receiving. 
gets the pass away. There for the catch. Donovan McNabb throws the ball so hard sometimes, I'm amazed the receivers can even catch it. They probably have to ice their hands after the game. The Eagles will take their first time out of the half. It's first and ten. Ball on the 20. Dumps it out right. The stop was made by Dante Robinson. Selleck makes it five catches for the game. Passes to his left. Donovan McNabb sure is looking confident throwing the football right now, and that's good to see because if he struggles, typically it's with his accuracy. He rolls right. Reggie Brown with the grab, but there's been no signal. Did he make the catch? After discussing it, they rule no touchdown. Tries for the end zone. Thomas knocks it down. Well, you have to admire his courage. He's not afraid to make any throw, any time, anywhere, but he's lucky that one wasn't picked off. Throws it short. Touchdown, Philly. Donovan McNabb finds his receiver for the score once again, adding another touchdown pass to his total, and now stands at 20 for the season. Donovan McNabb joins an elite group with that touchdown pass. It's number 300. He gets the two-point conversion. At the 30. Brought down at the 33-yard line. The Texans will begin this drive at the 33. And he'll just kneel it here. That's going to do it. We have highlights coming right up, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> 